Howdy, howdy folks, this is Kevin from Seek Outside. We're gonna go over a bunch of winter camping tips today. We're gonna to use this opportunity uh, with all this lovely snowfall. We're gonna probably build out a lot of things from right in this little uh, area here. So stay tuned. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is judge your snow conditions, right? Um, sometimes you might have harder, more consolidated snow. That'll probably be common in coastal conditions, but you get a uh, continental like us, and sometimes it's really pretty much close to uh, cotton candy, which can be difficult. So, first off, in your, in, if you're in the harder snow, more compact coastal ice, things like that, things like these nail stakes work really well, and these are cheap. You can buy them at any outdoor store. In fact, I use these for a lot of car camp situations just because they go in almost anything they're really hard to destroy these are the lighter version i like these um, likewise like these msr ones these i use more for backpacking these weigh about a half ounce each these weigh a little over three but even if you have to throw 10 in your pack um, or if you're going on a sled that isn't awful another tool you might use is a shovel shovel can be useful not only for um, Digging out sometimes if the snow is real fluffy, you got to go all the way to ground to get good anchor I've had to do that before in Montana with a 12 man um, Sounds awful But really it took three of us about a half hour to carve out enough snow for a 12 man just because we could not get purchase in the snow um, Shovel also can be handy For artistry, you know, you can dig out under the shelter make it bigger make furniture do all sorts of neat things um then finally, and these will probably be the workhorses of winter camping, saws. This is a silky saw, super easy to use. You just pop it out like that. This is a Sulloch 46 saw. I haven't put any time on this yet, but it looks pretty promising. Um, cordage is also a, another super cool thing to have, right? Um, because you're probably going to be using it because you might be using like buried dead man anchors out of logs to get good purchase in really bad snow conditions. Um, finally, there's also what you have. I mean, these can be stakes, uh, but you also have to weigh your ease of navigating around. Um, likewise, skis can be as well. And things like snowshoes, um, which you very, very well may do when you come up to a a more of a powdery camp is you're highly likely going to stand around and kind of carve out your footprint and knock it down with snowshoes or skis or whatever to tamp it down so you can try to get some more consolidation so that is often going to be the first thing you do when you get to camp Okay, so what we did was we dug down to see what kind of conditions we had in this snow. Um, the snow depth is about to here, so about waist high. There's really no consolidation until about the final five, six inches or so. So if we really wanted to use these kind of stakes, we would have to dig down to that level. Um, so we're going to try some other things um, to get good anchors here in the meantime. Check back in a little bit. So we've tamped down our snow. We've set a couple posts up to see how they do after a little bit of time. We're also gonna bury one here. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm not real um, impressed with the snow conditions. They're gonna be among the more challenging that you're gonna find. Um, but we'll see what we can get done here. And so what I did here was I dug a trench outside of my pitching area. I put a little cordage on here. I want to relatively rough stick. I don't. I want it to have a lot of friction. Friction is my friend. I'm going to put it in this hole here, get it down quite a ways, and then I'm going to take the shovel. Um, and the cordage is what I'm going to use to tie off to, if this works. Um, so I'm going to cover this back up, and then. I'm going to uh, tamp this down as well. We'll give that a few minutes. And I will undo my little 
mess I made for myself here and check back on it. So we've let stuff set up for a while. We've tamped down our snow for our pad. We've cut some big anchors. We've dug down, seen what the snow conditions were like. Remember we said this is pretty fluffy. Um, they weren't very promising. There really wasn't any consolidation down to the very bottom. Um, after we've tested this, quite frankly, we aren't super confident in this other than much more of an auxiliary or a guy out thing, something like that, right? Um, we tried in here, not real good. Our choice really is to dig down or to do these dead man anchors. This works well. This is solid. I could pitch a tent and super high winds on this. So to pitch this tent here on the snow, we're going to have to go around four sides like this. And then we're either going to have to have long cordage that we take down or some sort of little clip system or something like that. It's all manageable, but that's going to be the way we're going to handle these snow conditions. Anchoring the snow. A lot of people want to put these on aluminum or something. As we see, obviously, they kind of sink in in the snow. I don't recommend putting them on aluminum because what happens is this heats up. It heats up just enough below it and it ends up that the smooth aluminum is on an ice sheet. What I actually prefer to do, since you should have a saw, is cut a couple logs like this then take my knife and just basically whittle out a place for the legs to sit. Um, these have friction right so they grip and then they distribute it these will not slide near as what easily in the snow so what i do is just basically like i'm doing right here and then i will set this onto it once i have these put up right i know i'm doing really being graceful with it right now because i'm trying to give you the example but then it'll end up sitting very much like this. It'll stay pretty solid in the snow, even through a few days of camp. Anyway, here's some tips and tips for uh, setting up your shelter and staking in the snow and in winter. In fact, that thing is so in there, I'm gonna have to dig that out. Um, so that's good. I have 100% confidence in that. We're gonna do a more full setup one of these days, a little full spread. Anyway, thank you very much.